Good evening. We appreciate you joining us on a Monday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. Tomorrow is town meeting day in Vermont. Traditionally a time when Vermont communities come together to weigh important issues, but only a few places will be gathering in person this year. Local 22's Sam Israel looks at what else is different for town meeting day 2022. Hi, Sam. Hey, Lauren. I spoke with government officials from South Burlington, Montpelier and Burlington and all are holding Australian ballot elections and will be ready when polls open tomorrow at 7 a.m. Town Meeting Day is a uh, great Vermont tradition. It's really when we decide who we are and who we want to be for the next year. Every first Tuesday in March, community members come together to weigh in on local issues. Voters vote on their school board members, their city councilors, they vote on the city and school budget, they vote on any bond items or ballot initiatives that are that are put before the community. Town Meeting Day historically involved an actual meeting taking place in communities. That's still happening in about 40 small towns, but most Vermont communities, including all the cities, are going to paper ballots. Burlington, because of the size of the city, for it's been a long time since we've done that. And places like South Burlington even host pre-town meeting forums. Having virtual options to participate in our pre-town meeting um, forums is new since COVID-19. We're really pleased that we can provide those options for community members so they can be home or be at different places and still have access to the same information. In Burlington, the city council is up for election. There are also five ballot items. The school budget, a C three uh, municipal financial issues, and then there's a, a charter change that would um, deal with an uh, uh, issue about making a change to our charter and the way it writes about, uh, the way it regulates prostitution. For the first time ever, cities like Montpelier and Winooski are allowing non-citizens to vote in their town meeting days. It is a, a, a way to be inclusive for the community. These non-citizens will have the opportunity to vote in local issues like schools and property taxes. In Montpelier, just a handful are registered in that category. It just may not be that many people who live in the community that fit in that um, category. It'll probably grow as time goes on. Um, but right now, that's, that's where we're at. Now, not all towns are having town meetings tomorrow. Several have postponed the meeting until later this year. The bottom line, check with your local community to get more details on polling locations and times. Reporting from the newsroom tonight, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.